Hi guys and welcome back to the final episode of the Road to Glory Raiders Showdowns Netherlands of this week. We have got three legends, Ricard, Van der Sar, Rude Hullet and also Schneider in form, which is like his last in form. Um, team of the season, Van Dijk, Van Hanholt and also Depay, very nice looking team. We're going to continue to bolster that in the next couple of episodes as well. Now if any of you guys want the Ultimate Team Coins to purchase such players, you do see the team even on the bench, make sure you check out OneFIFA.com, their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code Bates and as well you get extra 5 off your ultimate team coins they are reliable and instant if you want the msp psn codes or cheap game codes as well make sure you check out g2a.com their link is also there and if we can try and smash them a 3000 likes as always guys that would be absolutely awesome so the first team Ibamiang, Ibarbo, Gundogan, Royce uh, Guarin, Kandreva, a very fucking searchy, sorry not Kandreva, searchy, a very difficult team and uh, I was caught napping in the first minute of the game, very annoying, uh, keeper punches out with an instant volley from Ibarbo, does make it 1-0, now this wager is for informed jam mat as well uh, and thankfully a defensive error from him does hoofing the ball up and uh, when we got the hunter running upfield he does make it 1-1 in the 7th minute and uh, when you fuck around with me like really piss me off, I'm going to try hard and with a kickoff glitch that annoys me and I do try really fucking hard to get back in the game and we do make it 2-1 with Ian Robin running through in the 16th minute and uh, the game got progressively worse look at Rude Hullet just being able to hang off and a brilliant high chip through ball to Hunter does make it 3-1 and uh, yeah, this guy was pretty fucking angry to be honest. Uh, I could tell by the tone of his voice and the tweets he did send me afterwards when this goal went in. The 45th minute we do extend the lead to 4-1. Nigel De Jong getting on the score sheet. Someone I'm not... I need to get you get your guys' input into who to put in the centre midfield positions. We've got Schneider locked down. We've got Hullet knocked down. But who's going to fit that other one? Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you do want to partake in any Ultimate Team Coin wages or any wages for cash, make sure you check out the Gamer Saloon their link is down below in the description this series is on there now so i am playing people who are signed up and obviously got the coins deposited so jam mat added to the team that's a lock in there we've only got a few more places to go in this series now and i also need a bit of a heads up as to what you want to see next do you want to see another road to glory do you want to have a week's worth of break where we do um uh, fuck for the deadly uh, the deadly four I think it was uh, I can't remember what I call it now um, or do you want me to crack on straight away with another road to glory and let me know what we want to do we've done the uh, Bundesliga we've done the Barclays Premier League we probably could revisit that but maybe you guys can let me know um, we've done the German uh, Liga B, B, V, A, which is La Liga, and loads of others. If you missed any of the back catalogues as well, guys, really go and watch the series. There's only a few which have actually left negative. The Brazil one was probably the most tense and enjoyable, but in this one, I am struggling the most. Probably got the amount, most amount of losses with this. So, in that, in this wager, it is for heighting. Go and start bolster up the midfield and get a lock in on the centre back, which is obviously Vla. And uh, we start off very nice, a uh, ball through to Depay, and uh, a very nice dribble past three of his defenders and past the goal keeper does make it 1-0. Now this wager is only wagered at value 5k because of the non-rare gold aspect. A rare gold is valued at 10k even though it may be only worth like 600 coins but fucking Rude Hullet Man is absolutely ridiculous. If you ever get the chance to use him I recommend you train him out in a very nice team. He can carry teams whether they be shit or good and he just manages to pop up everywhere. Even getting an assist here to make it 3-0 in the 48th minute. And that was how the game did stand as well so we walk away with a 5k wager and uh, do get height and go in the team so we say bye bye to team of the season um uh, van dick even though i've struggled to say his name throughout the series but he's a very nice player and uh, if you guys have got him you're fucking lucky because he is worth an absolute shit ton same same as team of the season de and i've got my hands on one of them as well so with that, we're going to go for a lock-in of the final centre-back, uh, which is obviously going to hopefully be Vla. He's rumoured to be on his way out of uh, Aston Villa to a bigger team like Manchester. Actually, that's wrong. He's off to another team like Manchester United. I'm not going to say a bigger team, because that may upset some Villa, supp Villa supporters who actually watch the video. So, with that, the team looks solid. We've got no silvers in there apart from the inform, but we're not going to bother about him. We're going to rock against full goal teams now. Uh, there's only a few more upgrades left. Maybe you guys can finish off the final pieces to the jigsaw. Let me know who you want to see in the centre-back position. Do you want to see uh, De Boer or actually Ricard? I might have said Ricard's name wrongly previously in episodes, maybe. Um, but who do you want to see in the centre-back position? Do you want to see uh, an international man of the match or would you prefer to see uh, a legend of De Boer? And I need to clear up the fact that I may have said that 
that guy's name wrong, Weak Adam. Pretty sure it's Frank Weak Adam, maybe uh, incorrect with that. But you do get um, another moment of me lapsing, and it's quite annoying. Um, and he does manage to equalise it back in the fifth minute. But as I said to you guys, when someone does that type of stuff to me, I will try my hardest to get back into the game. And we managed to do so not long afterwards, to be honest. Breaking down the wing with Robin got very lucky, and uh, very lucky here as well. The ball bouncing over all of his players, and uh, obviously Hullet is there to tap it in with his second goal of the game. And the legends weren't done scoring in this game yet either. As you can see, Ricard doing a nice 1-2 with Hunter, and uh, Ricard is there from the centre-back position to make it 3-1. I was happy with that, and uh, my opponent was not, and he does manage to get an equaliser, not an equaliser, sorry, another goal in, and it's Rafael Martino, one of the fastest uh, left-backs, in no, right-backs, uh, in the game. No, left back, left back, one more. And he does whip it into Ibarbo, who gets onto the score sheet, making it 3-2. But then we do manage to kill the game off in the 60th minute. So nice pass and play. And uh, Hunter, to, to Depay, who is very nice on his uh, skills, does manage to put it in the back of the net, making it 4-2. And that was the game done. So guys, that is the episode's done for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. Let me know the gaps. We've got one, two, three, four gaps left to go. So that possibly could be done by Tuesday um, at the uh, at the earliest. If we, cause we've got uh, Dijon, we've got Vla, we've got Robin, and we've also got Hunter to upgrade, and then the series is done. So guys, smash that like button, try and hit over 3,000 likes, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and comment down below uh, to fill in the blanks. Until Monday night at 9.30, guys, have a very nice rest of your day, and see you all again. It's my scene, I well. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh shit. Come here, bitch. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, 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 my God. Finch, leave this. Finch, leave this. I heard you in my back. No, don't leave this. Finch, please leave this. Finch, please leave.